Okay, so today in front of me, One Audio, love that name by the way. They sent me these wireless active noise cancellation headphones. These are the A30 edition. I actually went on YouTube and normally I don't do this. I watched a video of someone else reviewing these and I looked at some of the titles for the other YouTube videos and they were talking about how these might be the best budget over the ear headphones out right now. So you know what? Let's just go ahead, dive right into this and see if those claims are true. Let's see some love. It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so you can pick this up right now on Amazon or the One Audio site. And on Amazon right now, they're going for around $70. And on the One Audio site, you can pick them up for around $55. I'll have the links in the description down below. But also, if you do go on the One Audio site, they offered a coupon code. It's niche25, N-I-C-H 25. You put that in at checkout on the One Audio website and you'll get around 25% off. So these will end up being around $40. And these only come in one color, which is this black color that I have right here. Now quickly going around the box on the back side, you do get some of the specifications. And a couple of things I like to point out on the back of this box underneath the specifications is the charge time and the battery life. So your charge time is around two and a half hours to charge these back up if you do drain these down completely. And now for the battery life, you do get 15 hours of battery life. That's with ANC and Bluetooth on. 25 hours of battery life with Bluetooth on only. And then 45 hours of battery life if you have only ANC on. Contents inside the box, you get your headphones, the carrying pouch, airplane adapter, micro USB charging cable, which is a USB type C. You have your 3.5 millimeter aux cable and your user manual. So on the inside of this box as you open up, very simple, straightforward unboxing. You do have this carrying pouch right here and you do get the One Audio logo on the front side right here. This is not a leather pouch, it's more like pleather, but I mean, it's nice to have anyways. The headphones are inside as well. I will get to that in a little bit. Here are your cables. You have your airplane adapter. You have your 3.5 millimeter aux cable, and you have your USB type A to USB type C charging cable. With this aux cable right here, you cannot use this aux cable if the battery is completely drained on these headphones. And another thing with this cable, you also will not be able to use the buttons or the microphone will not be active if you have this aux cable hooked up to your headphones. So that might be something to think about before purchasing these headphones. And then also you do get your user manual right here. To me, it doesn't feel like a very premium design. It feels very plasticky. Um, that's just my opinion. And I didn't expect a premium feel with a price point around $55. So around the ear cups, you do get this memory foam padding. It is very thick. It's thicker than some of the more premium headphones that I've seen in the past. The headband, I think it could probably use a little bit more padding, but that's just my opinion. You also get your One Audio logo right here on the top of the headband. Now on the outside of the ear cups, you do get your One Audio logo and then also One Audio badge as well on both ear cups as well. So these ear cups do swivel around 90 degrees in one direction. You're not gonna get them swivel in both directions. So as you can see right here, they do swivel that way, but it's stuck if you try to swivel it the other way. I don't know if that might be an issue for you. I have no problem with that. On the left ear cup is where you get most of your controls. You do have your aux port on this side. You have your volume up, your volume down, your multi-function button, which is your power button. And you also get your indicator light right here. So if I do cut these on, as you can see, the blue light right here is actually flashing. On the right ear cup, this is your ANC switch right here. You click that on, the light turns green, and then you also get your USB Type-C charging port right here. These do come with 40 millimeter drivers. Now, this is something that I noticed. It might not be on the version that you get if you do plan on getting these. And one audio, when you watch this, this is something that you might wanna look into. And it didn't happen all the time. So when I had these headphones on my head, if I was talking or I moved my jaw or I shook my head like this, I can actually hear the driver inside of these headphones move. It'll make a thumping sound, which was very annoying. When I was listening to music or watching a movie on here, and I don't know if that's just something that is limited to the ones that I've got, or if that's been a noticeable problem on multiple A30s that you guys sell. But 
I don't know. That's just something I noticed um, and maybe it's worth looking into. Now, these headphones are very comfortable. I must admit that the memory foam on the ear cups, they give that nice plush feeling. I can wear these all day long without getting any type of ear fatigue. I don't get that strong clamping force on these headphones whatsoever. And also there is no app for these headphones. So if you're looking for any over the ear type headphones that integrate an app into them, these might not be for you. Okay, so for the sound quality in these headphones, with the ANC switch on, as opposed to it being off, I didn't notice a big change when I had no music playing and I was just testing out how well it blocked out the ambient noise. There wasn't a drastic change like I noticed with some of the more premium style headphones. That's just my opinion, that's what I've noticed personally. The highs were I don't know, they weren't crystal clear. I mean, they were decent, but they weren't as good. The mids, they were muddy. They weren't the best. And then the lows on here, there was still some lows, but it actually sounded like the lows were drowning out the highs and the mids. But when I turned the ANC switch on, the highs got crystal clear. The mids, they went from muddy to a very spread out sound with the voices and also the instruments and then the the lows they just were actually amped up just a little bit it was a more overall dynamic sound and very close to being a good headphone for bass heads in my opinion i'm not a bass head i like more of a dynamic sound but when you turn the ANC switch on and off on here you will be able to tell a difference i don't know that's just what i've experienced with these headphones okay so for the call quality on here as you're hearing my voice right now, this is how the other person will hear you on the other side. Now, the best thing about the call quality on here is that it's in stereo. I called my dad, tested these out with my dad, and he said out of all the headphones that I've tested, that these weren't as loud as any of the other ones. As far as letting in ambient noise, it was letting in a lot of ambient noise more than other headphones that i tested out on this channel and so let me just put some ambient noise on in the background and let you experience how these are with ambient noise okay and so i do have ambient noise going on in the background on my group of show in the background and it is at the max level so i'm doing this so that you can see how much ambient noise this lets in so to let you know how this actually sounds here is the test for that and so that is my full test and review of the call quality on these headphones. Now, when it came to latency, I had no problems with any movie streaming services that I tested these on Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV Plus, um, what else is there? Hulu, I don't know if I said Hulu, but anyways, there were no latency issues whatsoever. And these do have Bluetooth 5.0 in them, so that is one of the main reasons why you will experience any latency issues when it comes to these and yeah people that is all i got for you that was my full review on these one audio a30 over the ear headphones now there are a couple of things that i didn't like like the call quality wasn't the best also the thumping noise inside of the headphones when i was actually when i was talking or when i was shaking my head with the drivers i think they're not seated properly in here and they make a, like a thumping sound which actually got annoying over time but i do like the overall sound quality on here with the ANC on it actually sounds really good in my opinion also the overall design it's not bad for this price point i get it they're not obviously at a premium level so this is exactly what i expected when i saw the price point for these and that's it that's all i got as always if this is your first time here or if you found any value in this video whatsoever go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget hit that bell icon so you get notification when i drop my next tech video as always thanks for stopping by the tech love channel my name is nicholas and i'm out peace